Hello. Hello, Mr. Dami. I know that you're back from vacation. You can tell I like, worked in my can. A you know. lot of parties, a lot of vacation, always traveling. What's been going on? I, I'm a very, I'm a business man, you know? No, I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Always a trip, like a business trip. Yes. Right. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. What else would it be? Um, yeah. it's all good you know I just sometimes you got to butt head sometimes you meet some interesting people sometimes you just got to remember the times that you know you got to unwind and sometimes you just got to remember the titans you know so speaking of remembering titans um well let's talk about Denzel the speaking of Denzel speaking of Denzel Washington exhibit A here it my is. favorite actor Yes, it's um, you know, some some people say that me and Denzel were have very spinning similarities. Like, look, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, so speaking of Denzel, let's uh, talk about the two thousand movie. I uh, remember the Titans, which was directed by Boaz Yakin and produced by Jerry Berkheimer. Um, so this this movie that's is a hundred and thirty minutes long uh, on a thirty million budget was about a high school team uh, based out of Alexander, Virginia. Um, that was out of Alexander, Virginia in 1971. Uh, that was originally coached by a white coach. Um, and then the coach had, there was a change of coach and the coach changed from uh, a white coach to a black coach. So the thing is we've remembered Titans. Uh, we have a very interesting cast as already alluded to Denzel Washington. Ryan Gosling was there. Um, Wood Harris, uh, Wood Harris, who plays Julius. Uh, Will Patton, who was the original coach. Uh, Bill Yates. <clears throat> um, and then Hayden Panettera. Some might remember her from Heroes. Uh, she was a very small girl here in this movie uh, who plays Cheryl, Cheryl Yates. So essentially this movie uh, kind of talks about the hardship of uh, inequality in terms of race uh, in the times of 1971 um, and what it meant to be able to stand up for who you are and also try to coincide in a world where uh, essentially a lot of button heads were happening off the field and on the field. So um, overall, I, this sports biopic did very well uh, in terms of um, success, like commercial success in box office, it came out with $137 million. So. Uh, which was very good. And for a lot of sports fans uh, that like sort of, you know, uh, Rags Riches or the underdog story, this is one of such movies. Well, what did you take from the movie? Definitely Denzel Washington. <laughs> okay, good. He was number one for me. I really love the way that he acts. He's like genius, uh, like a genius. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like the way that he was trying to break in the wall uh, of the racism. Mm -hmm. I think that was very interesting, and um, and I really like the fact that uh, they were trying to do anything that make everything like difficult for him because he was black, but he was like. At the end, like he showed them that you know, um, that he's he's a good one. You know, like he didn't let them to get into him. Um, and he was, he he was very hard on the on the students, mm -hmm. but as one of them said, the attitude leads leadership. Something like that, they say. Yeah, so um, it, and now it, so yeah, I believe it's the line is something like. Uh, or reflect, reflect. Yes. Attitude it's, reflects leadership. Yeah. And vice versa, right? Leadership reflects yeah. attitude. So, um, so ultimately from that too, I, I guess, you know, it's really saying your character will determine the kind of person you are. Don't judge a book by this cover. And, you know, it's, he treated everyone 
as equal a irrespective of the race. For me, uh, I'm I'm an '80s kid. I'm not sure if uh, anyone would believe that or not, but um, for me, the, the, a very interesting touch to the movie was definitely the film score. Um, there was definitely a few tracks um, that that really hit home for me. Maybe it's because this is the music my parents were playing uh, back when I was in the crib. Um, so we have music such as "Spirit in the Sky" by Norman Greenbaum, and then "Up and Up Around the Bend" by Credence uh, Clearwater. So the and these are like, and then of course you got like Earth, Wind, and Fire, and you have um, like Marvin Gaye. So this is both white music, black music that was very popular in the seventies, and you know it really just kind of brought me back to those times and said, you know what, you know, there's they bonded over music, and there's a way for us as individuals, respective of our race, you can bond over similarities storytelling through music storytelling through life experiences and things like that there's a lot of similarities to be had there so uh, if you don't watch it I, love, for the... I, I really love the music in the movie yeah, yeah. because i i really like uh, all like black music like a 70s 80s i really listen to them yeah, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, it was very good the music yeah. was amazing. so great so i uh, yeah exactly so if you don't watch it if you're not into the sports element which is I guess a one third to one third of the movie, and um, the rest, you know, is something you anyone can really relate to if they're a person of color or if they, um, you know, have gone through hardships and thought they were in an in an in just the world. Right. So, um, what did you rate this movie out of ten? Mm, I would say five. Five, okay. Yeah. Um, for me, this movie was a nine. Um, wow. so yeah, so I, it's definitely a movie I would rewatch again and, you know, definitely introduce to my future children and then say, you know, Ooh, watch future children. Okay. Yes, of course. It's like, this oh. is like a once in a lifetime, you gotta really watch it and you, you'll realize this is something that you can reference later on in your life. Right, so, right. Um, all right, so then that gives uh, Salty Popcorn average review of 7 out of 10. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gave it 72%, so we're very close to that. And then IMBD gave it 7.8 out of 10. So um, definitely leave us a description as to what soundtrack or movie that you really channels and takes you back to a different period. Like, subscribe, and share, and let us know what movie we can potentially review for you next. So I believe uh, next time is going to be your movie of choice. Yeah, and I already know which one. And you know it as well. That's wonderful. Well, yeah, maybe it's a sports movie or something like that. So we'll see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, okay, guys. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.